Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, X Stitch and Chill. My name is Kelsey and this channel is all about cross stitch. And today I am giving another update on my March Madness bracket, which I am doing through the Fandom Stitching Challenge, which you can find on Facebook. Um, if you want to join in, and there's a lot of fun monthly challenges, weekly challenges, yearly challenges. Uh, it's a super fun way to get to work on your whips and sometimes a great way to get a whip out that you haven't worked on in a while. So in my last video, we did days one through six and today we're going to do seven through 12. So, um, I wanted to make sure that I got each bracket in there. <laughs> um, so to start day seven was tea room and I will preface day seven and eight with the fact that I was super busy those days and I barely got any stitching done. Um, so it may not be exciting, but <laughs> I did stitch on tea room and I got 59 stitches. So it looks like this now. I'm not going to show you guys any before pictures just to make these quick, but that's what it looks like now. I did like barely any stitching. So yeah, yeah, that like needle is still like st sticking out right there. So uh, this one is coming up for today for the bracket. So um, it will get hopefully a little more love on it than it did in the last one. But yeah, so I'll be working on this one today too. And Tea Room was up against uh, my Temperature Galaxy Stitch. And again, a dismal amount of stitching. <laughs> Uh, I only got 77 stitches on this one and if you don't get a hundred stitches then you don't get any points for the challenge but I, I kept track so that I could figure out which one I wanted to advance forward um, so this one is I think this is the top this is the top I think it goes like this all right so here is my temperature galaxy and this actually has come up twice so this was on day eight I did um, 77 stitches and uh, we'll we'll bring this one back in a minute so of those two I decided to advance tea room even though I didn't get as many stitches um, I want to get more stitches on that one so that's the one I decided to push through uh, my temperature galaxy I typically work on when my daughter's at cheerleading so it's gonna get worked on regardless <laughs> Um, I cannot take tea room to to the cheer studio it will it would be awful so the temperature stitch is gonna come back but um, tea room has been advanced okay so the next matchup is nostalgia tarot which is a new start and heart of the winter da, da, da. Um, so nostalgia tarot is um, a patreon exclusive stitch along not not a stitch along with the witchy stitcher and it's a new start for me um if you watched my last floss tube i showed you the giant piece of fabric and i'll be putting out a reel soon <laughs> of how big this piece of fabric is i think i have a picture <laughs> before i put it in the hoop but now it's in a hoop i did order a new um q snap for this one but anyway here is my start i actually got a ton of stitching on this one 424 stitches so that was the new start. I started in the center and right now it's just the frame. Um, and then she'll be releasing the tarot cards as they goes. And that one was up against Heart of the Winter and I just didn't have as much time to stitch on this one as I did on the tarot one. Um, I think I did the tarot one, it was like a Saturday or something. So I didn't really have much going on, um, but yeah. Heart of the Winter got 139 stitches in it. And I think this one got advanced already, so um, it'll get worked on again this month. So obviously between those two, uh, Nostalgia Tarot is uh, going ahead. Um, and I should say that Tea Room is a pattern that I got off of Etsy from Wolf X Stitch Designs, but uh, the name of the store has changed and the pattern's not available anymore. Um, my Temperature Stitch is from Climbing Goat Designs and Heart of Winter is from Little Dove Stitches. Um, 
So that was day 9 and 10. Day 11 and 12. So day 11 was Deathly Hollows. And this one got 165 stitches in it. You can, there's some down here. and My magnet's covering them up, but you get the idea. I'm very, very close to completing this page completely. So um, this one I'm sure will pop up again. But yeah, this one got 165. And it was up against... Uh, my temperature stitch, which got 159 stitches in it. So I worked on this one last night um, while I was at the cheer gym and at home. So yeah, I'm working through February on here. And yeah, this one got 159 stitches, if I didn't say. Um, so I advanced along Deathly Hollows. Again, this one is the temperature stitch is going to get worked on regardless because it's the easiest thing to take with me to um, practice. And I, I've, I've brought Deathly Hollows before too, but Deathly Hollows is the one that is moving forward. So like I said, tea room is today. Uh, we're almost done with the Sweet 16 and then we'll be going to the final eight. Um, so I'll go back to the other side of my board. So I will put a link below to my bracket if you want to uh, come along with me on this journey and keep track <laughs> and see what my plans are. Um, but with that, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to stay up to date on all of my stitching stuff, then please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.